It's time now for a technology report and joining us now is tech reporter Paul Dio. Hello, Paul. A 27-year-old self-taught aeronautic engineer from Zambia is designing aircraft and drones using local resourced materials such as scrap metal and discarded plastic. Onija Zani discovered his love for aeronautics when he was just a young boy, but his dreams of becoming a pilot were disrupted by lack of funds. For more insight, I'm joined by Onija Zani, founder of Project Prehiba. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much, and I'm happy for having you. You are a remarkable young man. You have come up with an initiative where you're trying to make uh, planes using locally sourced materials. Uh, not only are you just making uh, planes, but you're able to fly them. Uh, tell us more about that. So the project that I'm working on is called Project Brihipa. I simply use materials that I pick from the environment. Uh, these are plastics, papers, um, tins, wires. Then I recycle them into these drones that are able to fly and which are able to be used as learning aids. Um, we know, we all know that um, for a learner to learn something sufficiently, they need something to see and to witness that it's operating I have certain objectives set about this project, and I'm trying by all means to establish a drone company here in Zambia as the aviation industry it is increasing in Zambia and developing. How many have you made? Can they fly? And how long can they fly? So I've made several planes. The first ones, the first ones do not fly at all, but rather they were just moving on the ground and they are working as gliders. But um, I've made about 15 to 20 planes. Uh, that are able to fly different types and different models and the range of them flying they can fly about a kilometer away from me and high up uh, by elevation I can't fly above 400 feet so I maintain below 400 feet but they are able to fly by themselves uh, which is auton autonomous uh, flying and I can enable them to fly in a mission uh, manner so if I want them to cover about a hectare of land the plane to just rotate and move in one position, it's, it's possible that you can actually uh, command them in a software called Mission Planner, and this is uh, done. Otherwise, the whole body and the composition of the plane is all pollutants, but the composition in terms of um, uh, components inside uh, the drones that I make, uh, they are actually sourced out of Zambia. So me now I have to buy online and bring them here in Zambia and configure them and make them according to what plan I want to make. When I saw some of the things that uh, you sent me, the only thing I could think about was the Wright brothers, how everybody told them they can't do it, uh, but they insisted on doing it until they managed to fly uh, a plane. And, and that, I guess, led to the birth of, uh, you know, aircrafts and stuff like that. I haven't attended any school in, in, in line with aviation but rather all this uh, research and project uh, came about due to consulting engineers and pilots who are already in the industry. Um, with this desire or passion of me making planes and trying to make them fly, um, it has driven me to be so curious and um, tried a lot of planes. Just as the uh, Wright brothers, they tried a lot. Uh, me to have got my own errors, they've been crashing at first, I was, I was having mistakes here and there, but now I'm, I'm able to make something which is more perfect and uh, manage to correct all those errors that at least my planes are, are good and able to fly perfectly and nice. Have you found yourself a market to sell these drones that uh, you're flying uh, in Zambia? So, it's not you know, now I haven't sold any yet uh, because I'm having an objective of uh, perfecting them and uh, making my own company here in Zambia. Um, so I'm trying to fundraise more funds that at least I can establish this project here in Zambia into a program which will be ongoing. And not only Zambia to benefit, but also the other countries within Africa that can utilize um, uh, pollutants to leverage them and make them into something so useful. President Ichilima is an advocate for uh, innovation, for technology, 
uh, he wants us to see young people uh, who excel at some of these projects supported. Uh, if you were to talk to him directly, what would you uh, say to him? Mr. President, His Excellency Hakainde Hichilema, I would love to appeal to you, I only just you from Zambia, over the drone project that I have named Project Prohipa, that you, you should sponsor it and help me for me to establish this project here in Zambia. I think you have what it takes uh, to be able to excel. Uh, you've already proven that uh, you can actually fly. So whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. It can only get better from here. That's true. Definitely. I'll keep on pushing and keep on working hard. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Thank you so much also for your time. I really appreciate it.